This is what a typical day looks like around Peter Demon's shop. I had the opportunity to get to help them with doing some electrical for the 32 Ford that's been converted flathead to an overhead cam. And then Kevin's going to show us uh, some inside techniques on how he makes the cylinder heads and talks about the three liter, as well as we're going to set the body back down on the 32 Ford. And here's Pete. He's working on a lathe. He's making a part for the 32 Ford. Uh, I believe this is an oil filler cap he's going to show us. On flathead? Well, we, we, we forgot to put the... Uh... We to put filler caps in the valve cover. So where are you going to fill it from? I put a hole right there in front. Oh, okay. So there'll be a little cap here. Just fill it right into the valley. Yeah. It'll look better than having a cap on the valve. Cover. Yeah, it'll be real clean. You can't get. Could you fill it there well, too? It's so hard to get to the firewall is right here. Oh, so it's right on top of it. Yeah. Okay, good. This is going up to Eric Hansen in detail for the Grand National Show. And that's coming up at the end of January or yeah. so? Uh -huh. uh, we're just putting it in their booth, Speedway's booth, for display. For the record, if this is your first time seeing this, this is actually a 32 Ford with a flathead that has been converted to overhead cam by Kevin and Pete. Uh, someone challenged Pete many years ago and said you could never convert a flathead to an overhead cam. Um, Pete proved him wrong. Uh, here's a living example of a pretty cool engine design that they were able to do and by converting it. You can see they have some timing belts and uh, a distributor. They've converted it also to a five-speed manual transmission, modernized it, and uh, we're going to be doing some electrical work on it today and setting the body back down. Uh, we have some more information on a previous video if you want to learn more about this conversion. You don't see this every day. This is a water pump that runs through the idler pulley of the timing belt into the engine block. Another unique Pete and Kevin design. Um, we're going to set the body back down on the Ford, and then Kevin's going to walk us through some of the cylinder head designs and techniques, and he's going to explain a little bit about the three liter and their land speed records that they have accomplished. And here's some more for the folks that want to see the three liter sheet metal motor or engine, shall I say. Um, you can see they've modified, and they've had some kind of crankshaft position sensor on the back of the flywheel um, that they've modified and made. They've got their, their adapter plate to a Chevy typical type transmission, bill housing. This is the channel in the sheet metal on the side, and that's the channel, that's the girdle. This is the cylinder head. Again, people have asked how they've made this. This is, um, they did this themselves. This would be considered billet, right? Billet cylinder head? Yeah, that's all machined out of a solid piece of uh, aluminum. So that's... It's built real similar to this, the way we did the big 12. Where it's a solid piece of aluminum, and then we kind of dug out all in here, you know, for the water passages, uh -huh. for water, and then... This is to get cooling underneath the exhaust, which has done the same thing here. So you have those channels. And then we have it on the intake side as well. And that's so what that little plate is. Yeah, that's the plate to where the. So that plate is the same as similar this. Similar as this. Okay. And that's to get water underneath the exhaust valves. And that would be typical of like a regular, like a, like a cast one. You would see like a core plug there, right? Well, or yeah, or there, there. I mean, it would actually come up through the deck. Usually, you don't actually see them on the side of the motors but that was just so we could so this doesn't have any cooling in the block uh, there's not yeah, the there's head cooling gas, in the it, block, but yeah. it's not passing through the block to the head uh, or is it yeah well this one is okay so like a traditional yeah that's regular on that but it's but it's then there's a top plate on top i thought this top plate is here and this is basically just to seal the water in and then it also you know is a plate for the camp holds the camp carriers and this was this one is actually for the large v12 out back right yeah and this was the the mock-up that you made this on is wood? just testing the program i had the same for this oh so there's a wood mock-up well, for this as well i think it went away firewood but, yeah <laughs> but i i made one for for i always test the program in wood because it's way cheaper which way cheaper in aluminum yeah absolutely. but not necessarily at today's prices but <laughs> <laughs> yeah but anyway, so to make it out of catalog.
machine it. <laughs> we machine it out of wood first just to see if there's a problem with the program. And then if it all looks good, we That's great. Run it. And this one has run before. It had issues. I think what it broke a timing belt or something or No, it, it the oil pump uh, the bolt actually this isn't the way we should have done it but the oil time belt is also the alternator belt the uh, oil pump belt oh. is, and what happened was the bolt came out of the alternator and then it slipped here oh. and lost oil pressure that was but that was that was actually after we got the record we went to let somebody else go in the car just to you know to get, get the licensing, get licensing <laughs> and stuff and that's when that happened oh. and he wasn't you know familiar with the car didn't notice the oil pressure was going down and kept it going yeah so that's great and this has one record so far on this motor right no this motor has has several records oh, several. we actually won the the championship with this with the rear engine modified roadster oh um in 17. okay and then we ended up uh 18 we went to the the four liter and won the championship with the four liter and the rear engine roadster mm. and then now we're putting it into the lakester we're going to make a few runs with that just do some got to take care of some unfinished business and get that all dialed in and then well, go back to the 12. It's, so we you know just try to get the records <laughs> for the car that it should have for that class too. And then um, for most of the folks, these are a lot of records up here, right? All these little plaques. Yeah, the red ones are records. Uh, the blue ones are just speed timing runs that weren't, ne weren't necessarily records, but they were, um, you know. Quite a bit. I, I know I talked to someone at Bonneville and they said, you know, a lot of these people may try their entire life to get one of those plaques. Well, the biggest problem is you don't see all our records here. I believe we have 30, Three. 33 records yeah. now. But, um, you know, several of them, we've beaten our own records. So we don't, you know, <laughs> don't. So some of those are records that you've already had, but you've bumped well, it we, up. Yeah, the, we've, we've bumped them multiple times on several classes. <laughs> In this next segment of the video, you're going to see the uh, body of the Ford um, getting placed back down onto the chassis. Um, this is really just an opportunity for me to come in and work with Pete and Kevin. Um, I'm honored to be able to do this and get to help them um, wire up the 32 Ford. Uh, this also was an opportunity for me to test the time lapse feature on my GoPro 10 camera, which I'm using to film these videos. So um in the next few minutes if you want to watch this you'll just see how we uh, set the body down and uh, pull the wire harness through and solder the main connections back up and uh, make this thing come alive again <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. We just wanted to show you what goes on down at Pete Ardema shop. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'm going to try and get you guys some more content here real soon. 
Um, so stay tuned. Thanks again. <laughs>